The Saturn V rocket is one of the most extraordinary achievements in human history. A feat of engineering so audacious, so colossal, it changed our understanding of what we could accomplish. It wasn't just any rocket, it was a rocket that took humanity to the moon, taller than Big Ben and weighing as much as 400 elephants. The Saturn V was built to defy gravity, conquer space and fulfill President John F. Kennedy's 1961 bold promise to land a man on the moon and bring him home safely back to Earth before the end of the decade. Neil Armstrong, Apollo 11's commander, explained, the Saturn V rocket made it possible for us to leave Earth for another celestial body. It was an incredible machine, beautifully engineered and absolutely reliable. Imagine it now, it's 1969, the world watches in awe as this gigantic machine, 363 feet tall, gleaming white, stands ready on the launch pad at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Fully fueled, it weighs six and a half million pounds, most of that being the propellant needed to hurl it into space. And the power? Seven and a half million pounds of thrust, erupting from its engines, enough to shake the ground for miles in every direction. The Saturn V was a three-stage rocket, and each of these three stages was a masterpiece of engineering and design. The first, massive and fiery, was responsible for the initial liftoff, pushing the rocket through Earth's dense lower atmosphere. Then came the second, firing it higher and faster, before the third took over to sling the Apollo spacecraft free from Earth's pull and on its way to the moon. But what makes this rocket so special isn't just its size or its power, it's the extraordinary teamwork behind it. Thousands of engineers, scientists and technicians, led by NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, poured their ingenuity into this project. They were solving problems that no one had ever encountered before, creating new technologies that would not only take us to the moon, but also transform life here on Earth. Of course, the Saturn V was more than just a scientific triumph. It was a statement. In the 1960s, the United States and Soviet Union were locked in the space race, a fierce competition for the dominance in space exploration to achieve technological and ideological supremacy. When the Saturn V carried Apollo 11 to the moon in 1969, it wasn't just a victory for the United States. It was a moment of triumph for all humanity. People everywhere watched, inspired by the idea that together we could achieve the seemingly impossible. So why does the Saturn V still matter, decades after its final flight? Its legacy is extraordinary. Technologically, the Saturn V pushed boundaries. Its engines, the mighty F1, remain the most powerful of their kind to this day. The rocket's guidance systems, cutting edge, laying the foundation for modern computing and navigation technologies. And its impact goes beyond engineering. The Saturn V inspired generations to dream big, fueling interest in science and technology. It's embedded in our culture, from films to museum exhibits. A constant reminder of what humanity can achieve when we aim for the stars. The Saturn V also reminds us of the power of collaboration. Nations working together to push the limits of what's possible. Today its spirit lives on in global space missions and ambitious projects like NASA's Artemis program, aiming to return humans to the moon and beyond. The Saturn V isn't just a piece of history, it's an invitation to keep dreaming, keep exploring and keep reaching for the stars. It stands as a testament to what humanity can achieve when driven by ambition, creativity, and the will to overcome challenges. Truly a symbol of our unyielding spirit and boundless potential. So the path to the Saturn V rocket was the space race. This was about pride, power, and proving who could dominate the final frontier. It all kicked off in 1957, when the Soviet Union launched Sputnik, the first artificial satellite. The world was stunned. This wasn't just a beep, beep, beep from space. It was a loud and clear message. The Soviets were ahead. Things escalated further in 1961, when Yuri Gagarin became the first human to orbit the Earth. For the US, these Soviet victories weren't just embarrassing. They raised urgent questions about security, science, and future technologies. But then, President Kennedy delivered his famous challenge to land a man on the moon before the decade was out. America then rallied. The Saturn V became the centerpiece of this national effort, a symbol of American ingenuity and determination. It wasn't just a goal, it was a dare, a rallying cry, a declaration of intent that rolled all into one. President John F. Kennedy proudly asserted, we choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they're easy, but because they are hard. The Saturn V rocket was an answer to Kennedy's challenge. This towering machine wasn't just a vehicle, it was a symbol of American ambition and ingenuity. Built to power the Apollo program, it represented the United States' determination to not just compete in the space race, but to win it outright. The Saturn V didn't just spring into existence. 
It was dreamed, designed, and delivered by some of the brightest minds in the history of spaceflight. At the center of it all was Werner von Braun, a man whose story is as complex as the rocket he built. And if you're interested in the story about him, let me know in the comments. Former German rocket scientist, von Braun came to the US after World War II, bringing with him expertise that would help shape the space age. Von Braun wasn't just a scientist, he was a visionary. As director of NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center, he led the team tasked with turning the Saturn V from an audacious idea into reality. The challenge was immense. Create a rocket powerful enough to break free of Earth's gravity, precise enough to guide a spacecraft to the moon, and reliable enough to carry human lives. This wasn't a solo effort though. With the aforementioned thousands of engineers, technicians, and contractors that contributed to the Saturn V's design and construction, companies like Boeing and Rocketdyne brought their expertise to the table, while specialists tackled everything from propulsion systems to guidance computers. It was a collaboration on a scale never before seen, with every component tested, retested, and perfected before use. Werner von Braun, chief architect of the Saturn V, once said on the coordination of the project, we can lick gravity, but sometimes the paperwork is overwhelming. Von Braun and his team didn't just build a rocket, they set a new standard for innovation and reliability. The stakes couldn't have been higher. Failure wasn't an option, not when lives, national pride, and global influence were on the line. Before Saturn V could reach for the moon, NASA needed to take its first steps into space. That journey began with two pioneering programs in Mercury and Gemini. Project Mercury was about answering one big question. Can humans survive in space? From Alan Shepard's first American space flight in 1961 to John Glenn's historic orbital mission in 1962, Mercury laid the groundwork. It proved humans could endure the physical and psychological challenges of space travel for the United States, setting the stage for more ambitious missions. Project Gemini pushed the boundaries further. This program wasn't just about survival, it was about mastering the skills needed for a lunar mission. The Gemini astronauts practiced orbital maneuvers, conducted spacewalks, and lived in space for up to two weeks at a time. These missions taught NASA how to dock spacecraft, navigate complex operations, and prepare for the challenges of Apollo. By the time Apollo and Saturn V came along, NASA was ready. Mercury and Gemini had provided the knowledge, experience, and confidence needed to tackle the ultimate goal, landing on the moon. The Saturn V wasn't just a rocket. It was the culmination of years of innovation, collaboration, and ambition. Born from pressures of the space race and shaped by visionaries like Von Braun, and built on lessons of Mercury and Gemini. It stood as a testament to what humanity could achieve when dared to dream big. The journey began with the SIC, the mighty first stage, stretching 138 feet in length and 33 feet in diameter. It was a giant among giants, powered by five F1 engines. The SIC generated an astonishing 7.5 million pounds of thrust. It was enough to lift the towering rocket from the launch pad through the thickest layers of Earth's atmosphere. Fueled by RP-1 kerosene and liquid oxygen, the engines consumed an eye-watering 20 tonnes of fuel every second. In just two and a half minutes, this stage had burned through its reserves, propelling the rocket 42 miles high at speeds of 6,000 miles an hour before separating in a controlled burst of brilliance. With the first stage spent, the SII second stage took over the reins. Slightly shorter at 81 feet, it housed five J2 engines each capable of producing 230,000 pounds of thrust. Its task was to push the Saturn V beyond the dense layers of the atmosphere into the vacuum of space. Fueled by liquid hydrogen and oxygen, the S2 was a technological triumph, overcoming the immense challenge of storing cryogenic hydrogen at a frigid minus 423 degrees Fahrenheit. Advanced insulation techniques preserved the volatile fuel, enabling the engines to fire for six crucial minutes. By the end of the burn, the rocket had reached an altitude of 109 miles and a velocity of over 15,000 miles an hour. The final leg of the journey relied on the SIVB, the third stage, the smallest but most versatile of the three. At just 58 feet in length, it was powered by a single J2 engine, designed not only to place the Apollo spacecraft into Earth orbit, but to restart mid-mission for the crucial translunar injection. This stage's precision and adaptability made it indispensable, enabling Apollo missions to leave Earth's gravitational embrace and head towards the moon. Its legacy extended beyond the lunar missions, later serving as a launch vehicle for Skylab, America's first space station. Each component of the Saturn V represented a leap forward in engineering. The F1 engines, the most powerful liquid-fueled engines ever built, were feats of ingenuity and engineering. 
Early designs grappled with the combustion instability, a violent phenomenon that would tear engines apart. But exhaustive testing led to breakthroughs including stabilization baffles and regenerative cooling system to manage the extreme heat. The storage and handling of cryogenic fuels demanded equally groundbreaking solutions. Double-walled aluminium tanks with vacuum insulation minimized heat transfer, ensuring liquid hydrogen remained stable during missions. Specialized equipment and procedures safeguarded the volatile fuel throughout the complex fueling process. Even vibrations posed a formidable challenge. Known as pogo oscillations, these violent tremors threatened the structural integrity of the rocket and the safety of its crew. Engineers developed dampers and adjusted thrust patterns to mitigate these forces, stabilizing the Saturn V during its fiery ascent. At its core was the rocket's brain, the instrumentation unit. Nestled between the third stage and the Apollo spacecraft. This hub housed the guidance computers and telemetry systems, orchestrating the rocket's every move with unparalleled precision. The Saturn V's unmatched reliability was a testament to NASA's rigorous testing regime. Engines like the F1 and J2 were subjected to exhaustive evaluations from component level assessments to full stage static fire tests. Unmanned flights such as Apollo 4 and 6 provided crucial and critical validation data before astronauts entrusted their lives to the vehicle. The Saturn V's capabilities translated into some of history's most significant achievements. In December 1968, Apollo 8 carried astronauts into lunar orbit, delivering the unforgettable Earthrise images. Just months later, Apollo 11 etched its place in history as Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin stepped onto the moon's surface. Buzz Aldrin, Apollo 11's lunar module pilot shared, when the Saturn V lit up, it felt like you were riding a controlled explosion, a thrilling, awe-inspiring experience. Subsequent Apollo missions expanded humanity's reach, unveiling new discoveries and refining lunar exploration techniques. The Saturn V's adaptability was further proven when it launched Skylab in 1973, underscoring its enduring legacy. In the shadow of the towering Saturn V rocket lies a story often untold. A story of not just astronauts, but of the 400,000 individuals whose skill, sweat and sacrifice propelled humanity to the moon. These are the unsung heroes of the Apollo program. At the heart of Apollo's success were its engineers and scientists, visionaries who tackled unprecedented challenges to create the Saturn V, the most powerful rocket ever built at its time. Leading the charge was Werner von Braun and his team, but the innovation didn't stop there. Aerospace giants like Bowen and Grumman turned ideas into reality. Grumman's lunar module, for example, was an incredible piece of engineering, allowing astronauts to descend to the lunar surface and return safely. Universities across the country also played a key role in researching navigation, life support systems, and communication technologies critical to Apollo's success. None of this could have been achieved without the skilled technicians and factory workers who transformed the designs into hardware that would reach the moon. In California, workers at Rocketdyne manufactured the massive F1 engines, at NASA's Misho Assembly Facility in Louisiana, teams assembled the enormous first stage of the Saturn V. Each component underwent exhaustive testing with technicians firing engines and running full stage tests to ensure everything worked flawlessly. Margaret Hamilton, lead software engineer for Apollo's guidance system said, the Saturn V was the hardware embodiment of teamwork and ingenuity, and it was the software that ensured its precision, a partnership of human and machine. In Houston, Mission Control became a nerve center for the Apollo program. Flight directors like Gene Krantz and Chris Kraft led teams of engineers and specialists who made split-second decisions, saving missions and lives when unexpected problems arose. Apollo 13's near disaster is a testament to their ingenuity and teamwork. And if you want to see a video on Apollo 13's grueling journey, I'll link it up here in the video. While the astronauts were a public face of Apollo, their success depended on years of preparation. They trained rigorously in everything from geology fieldwork to spacecraft simulations. They also worked closely with engineers, refining designs and ensuring the spacecraft met the demands of space travel. Their courage to undertake such dangerous missions remains a symbol of our determination to push further and higher. None of this would be possible without the political will to make the Apollo program a reality. President John F. Kennedy's leadership galvanized the country during the height of the Cold War, framing Apollo as a demonstration of American technological superiority. After Kennedy's assassination, President Lyndon B. Johnson championed Apollo, ensuring NASA had the funding and resources it needed despite competing national priorities. By the time of Apollo 11's historic landing, President Richard Nixon presided over the program's peak, though financial constraints soon led to Apollo's conclusion. 
Apollo's triumphs came at great cost. The tragic Apollo 1 fire in 1967, which claimed the lives of three brave astronauts in Virgil Gus Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee, exposed critical flaws in the spacecraft design and safety protocols. In its aftermath, NASA introduced sweeping reforms, replacing flammable materials, redesigning the spacecraft hatch, and tightening safety measures. These changes saved lives and ensured the future missions succeeded. The Saturn V remains a symbol of ingenuity and ambition. Its innovations from the F1 engines to the Apollo guidance computer revolutionized aerospace engineering and inspired generations to do the same. While modern rockets like SpaceX, Starship, and NASA's SLS continue its legacy, the Saturn V's cultural and technological impact endures, reminding us of humanity's potential when determination and innovation align. The Apollo program powered by the Saturn V rocket was one of the most ambitious endeavors in human history. While the iconic images of astronauts on the moon are the program's most enduring legacy, they represent only the surface of a colossal effort. As we look to the stars once more, we carry the lessons of Apollo. It wasn't just about rockets or technology. It was about humanity's unyielding drive to explore, create and overcome. The spirit of Apollo reminds us what's possible when we dare to dream. Thanks for watching.